So we continue with the second item on the on the file. So all we need to do again is just grab the search. Go to Reader. Paste it in here. I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm good with. I just replay this. So I'm gonna put just 30 minutes and hit search and we have two entries. From the first video, the introduction video, we should remember that this is actually the machine where the malware was actually detonated. And in here we, again, uh, it's just a search similar to the one before, is only on port 445, which is the SMB, and again, he is actually looking for process IDs that are different from zero. And he found uh, this one's in here. We scroll down. We're looking here on, on hex. And here uh, we look for the SMB2 and we find the stream right there. Let me show you what he was uh, uh, showing in, in Wireshark just for completeness. So the offending packet is uh, 326, 3262. So if we go here and we put 3262. This is actually was what he was uh, looking for, the SMB protocol and a process ID that is different from zero. Uh, and in here the process ID is 22886, which obviously is uh, different from zero and is one aspect of the propagation of the malware. So the third search, let's actually grab it. It's very similar. So we actually um, go back here and run the search. And we have an entry here. Here where it was found. So let's actually go and well, we need to exit this one because it's on a different, if we can see here, the pickup is the eternal blue one. So we go into that one, which is this one in here. That's okay. Uh, and the packet is packet 12. So let's actually move on and do the search three, which is actually uh, a little bit more interesting. This is more of the same uh, instance. I mean, very important because these are different instances of propagation, but it's very similar to the one that we actually uh, did. So this, we're gonna move to this uh, other PCAP, uh, which, which is the one that uh, launches the PS exec SVC which again is a tool that you should not be having running on your network. Uh, so let's actually uh, take a look at it. So we grab that search and we simply paste it in here. I'm just going to leave the 180 minutes, doesn't matter. And I get this is one of the machines where the malware actually propagate it. If I scroll down to, uh, to the packet here, we actually see the psexsv.exe. So beautiful. Let's move on to search. Uh, this is the search uh, 6 and 7 with IPv4 and IPv6. So this is an interesting one. So let's go here and run the search. And notice that we have a couple of entries with 000 and a couple of entries with an IPv4 address. So obviously, we click here, we know what we will see. We'll see an IP address th that is actually um, uh, shown in there. No problem whatsoever. But if we click onto the ones that are shown as zero, we notice that that's an 
IPv6. So this malware is using IPv6 to try to hide itself in case that you, the tools that you use can only look on IPv4. And of course, QReader can see them both. So. And to prove that, instead of using source IP, we're going to use the next search, which actually looks for IPv6. Notice this, it says source v6. Let's run that one. Copy it. Go back into QReader. Paste it in here. Notice that it's source v6. And bingo, we see all those IPv6 addresses, and in here the 000s are the, actually the one IPv4. So nothing escapes uh, to Curator. I hope that you have seen the capabilities that you can have by just having Qflow, standard Qflow into Curator. They have been there for a long time. What is new is this, uh, this uh, function that does the payload to hex, so you can compare. Uh, with uh, signatures pretty much in the same way that you do with IPSs but this is going back in time and say hmm I got these nice indications of malware let me run them and see whether they have or have not happened in my network very powerful I hope you enjoy this uh, this new feature and we show them here with the not Petya golden eye uh, version of the malware but uh, I, I hope you can s foresee that if you get some thread intelligence that give you different signatures you can use it with um, the next version of the malware because uh, I think that we all agree that these uh, malicious uh, type of techniques are going to be just exploited over and over again.